The United States and China impose fresh tariffs on each other's goods as Beijing accuses Washington of economic intimidation. Hello, I'm Mike Walter, sitting in for Anand Naidu, and this is The Heat. China says trade protectionism will ultimately hurt U.S. interests. That's the thrust of a new white paper outlining the government's views on its escalating trade war with the United States. The report was released shortly after the latest round of U.S. tariffs on $200 billion of Chinese imports when they took effect. Now, China responding with tariffs on an additional $60 billion in U.S. products, with each side showing no sign of backing down. CG Tian's own Faircloth has more from our newsroom. They knew these tariffs were coming, but most American companies are so totally reliant upon China as a supplier that stocks were always going to take a bit of a hit at the start of the trading week. And so it proved for companies like Boeing, whose airplanes have millions of parts in them, many of them sourced from China. And companies like Boeing are now taking a double hit with their exports to China also being taxed as well. And that's because this is happening on a scale we simply haven't seen yet in this trade war. Let's take a look at some of the numbers at play here. The U.S. is now hitting China with tariffs on an extra $200 billion of imports. That's on top of $50 billion worth already in effect. China has responded with additional duties on $60 billion worth of imports to China. All of this as talks that had tentatively started to try and resolve this trade war have been scrapped. U.S. President Donald Trump said at one point he thought he could fix this trade war personally with President Xi Jinping. But there's simply no prospect of these two sides talking now. They're too far apart on the underlying issues. That's uh, U.S. accusations that China's trade practices harm the U.S. economy and other complaints as well, such as U.S. companies being forced to hand over trade secrets to Chinese partners. Both of these allegations, these long-standing complaints, China has denied. China, for its part, has put out a new document, uh, a white paper running to some 67 pages, essentially setting out its trade position. Uh, it's called the Facts and China's Position on China-U.S. Trade Friction. It's a fairly strident document talking about the U.S. bullying China as a trade partner, but reminding the U.S. that it's committed to trade relations with the U.S., to improving the multilateral trading system and protecting property and intellectual property as well. Both of these long-standing complaints from the United States. It was interesting to hear Alibaba founder Jack Ma say last week he thought this trade war could rumble on for 20 years. That may have seemed dramatic, but with these two sides simply not wanting to talk to each other for the time being, perhaps it seems more realistic. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.